Okay, today I wanted to talk about one-to-one uh, -one linear transformations or and uh, onto linear transformations or operators. Okay, all right. We need some definitions first. Okay, you might remember these from uh, these type of ideas from uh, college algebra. Okay, they're exactly the same ideas here. Uh, but uh, let's say L is a linear operator. Um, by the way, I turned it around this time. I've usually been going from Rm into Rn, just alphabetically reading it from left to right. This time I turned it around, so we're going from Rn into Rm, and we'll see why I did that here in just a few minutes. But whatever you want to call these, it's not going to ultimately change anything. But anyways, uh, L is a one-to-one -one transformation. Uh, if and only if is actually every definition is if and only if, but if we just say if L evaluated at x1 e being equal to L1 at x2 implies that L, L or x1 and x2 are equal. Okay, alrighty. You can think of it this way also then. Okay, a one to one transformation transforms different vectors. In the, in the domain to different vectors in the range, okay? So you can't get the same range element without what? Having the original domain elements being equal. Does that make sense? Okay, this is one to one. Now, since L is linear, it can be represented as a matrix product, okay? So for, this should have a bar on it, for x bar element of r to the m, we have r to the n, we have uh, l of x is actually a times x bar for some a element of m by n. Okay? All right. So n vectors go in, m vectors come out. Since the matrix is on the left here, this means it's going to have to have dimensions, what, m by n, okay? And this is what you're actually used to. This is why I turn these around here, okay? You're used to thinking of uh, the matrix as having uh, m rows and n columns, so that's why I did it this time, because I'm actually going to write out the matrix a little bit here. You'll see, okay? If L is, is 1 to 1, okay, here's the lazy man's 1 to 1. Okay, so that just means one to one. Okay, now L of x1 being L of x2. Okay, the only way that can happen, this is, uh, I'm actually using some symbolic logic here. This is only if and only if. This can happen in a if and only if these two are equal because these are just restatements of what the linear operators do, right? So that means A times x1 is equal to A times x2. So, a times x1, think of this as a single statement. A x1 equals A times x2 implies that x1 equals x2. That's what one to oneness would mean. Okay? Now, these are all um, com coming down here, re making a restatement of uh, this statement in parentheses. Okay? Uh, but if you think about it, A x1 equals A x2, if and only if. Okay? So I'm going to restate the antecedent here in my uh, by condition or my conditional. Uh, the only way that these two can be equal is if their difference is the zero vector, right? And the same thing over here on this side. So this is just a restatement also. So here's a restatement of one to oneness. Okay. But we know that what a matrix product is uh, is distributive. So I can actually use the distributive property sort of backwards here and factor out the a. So this would be what? A times x1 minus x2 is the zero vector implies x1 minus x2 is the zero vector. Okay? Now, I've just renamed the x1 minus x2. I'll just call that vector x. Let's make a restatement here. Okay? A times x equals zero implies x equals zero. So this is a restatement of one-to-oneness. A 
times x bar equals 0 bar implies that x has to be 0 bar. Okay? So we could actually say this is if and only if, since what? I made this quick comment here, since a times 0 equals 0 anyway. So um, our, our, our linear operator is 1 to 1, if, if and only if a x equals 0, if and only if a equals 0. Okay? We could also think about that then. This would be the null space, also known as the kernel of A, would have to be what? The single simple vector space consisting of zero bar. Okay. Um, I'm going to come down here and put it this way, though. Okay. L going from Rn into Rm is one to one, if and only if. Okay. L of uh, x bar is 0 bar implies x equals 0 bar. Okay? Alrighty. This is not implies, by the way. That's just a mapping, right? Okay. Alrighty. This is the way we could do it. Now we're going to consider this just a little bit more here. Consider the, the matrix uh, A, which is real, right? M by N, representing the linear 1 to 1 transformation L. Okay, and this matrix equation, A x bar equals 0 bar. Okay, that's saying the same thing as this, right? Okay, in the row reduced echelon form of the augmented system, so think of this as an augmented system now, we must have the rank of A being equal to N be equal to the number of columns in order to have a unique solution. Okay. So in the row reduced echelon form, so there's n rows and n columns, to get a unique solution to this uh, equation right there, we would have to have what? The, the rank is equal to the number of columns. If it was uh, what uh, the rank was less than that, you know, if I had a, okay, I hope you can see this here. This is row reduced echelon form. You see how I'm getting a unique solution here? Okay. If I had, you know, like a 1 or something in front of this, so the, what, the rank was less than n, you see how we get uh, more than one solution here? I would get infinitely many solutions, actually. Okay, if I had something in there like 1. But no, if I've got zeros in here, and I've got the rank being equal to n, that's the only way I'm going to get, what, a unique solution. So I have another way of characterizing one-to-oneness, Okay, so L mapping Rn into Rm is 1 to 1 if and only if the rank of A is equal to N. Okay, so the rank has to equal N. Okay, the number of columns are this guy. All right, that's 1 to 1-ness. Okay. Let's talk about a new definition here. This is a different concept. Okay, I'm still mapping uh, Rn into Rm. I'm saying it's an onto mapping, okay? If for every y in the codomain here, in other words, of r to the m, there exists some value x, at least one, okay, it's not saying it's unique or anything, there exists some value in the domain such that what? L of x bar equals y bar, okay? So in other words, this is saying that r to the m is actually the range of this. So you're not just mapping into r to the m, you're mapping onto r to the m. Okay, so if I take any y bar in that codomain, it's actually a range element. There's some value of x that actually maps onto that thing. Okay, that's what that's saying here. Okay. So the range is all of Rm for this particular function, transformation, operator, whatever term you like to use. Okay? Okay, once again, I'm going to just have A being what the, the uh, matrix of this linear tra transformation. This is going to be onto this time, though. Okay? Now I'm going to have what? A x bar is equal to y bar. I'm going to consider that right there. So x bar equals y bar. It must have a solution x bar for each y. 
Okay, that's what you would need for onto un, untoness. Okay, some people call that a surjection, by the way. Okay, oh, by the way, one to oneness is sometimes called an injection. This is sometimes called surjection. Okay, or, or a surjective mapping. Okay, you don't need to know all those fancy terms. But anyway, all right. Now, what I'm going to do then, so we have this equation here. Now, y is supposed to be absolutely arbitrary, right? Okay, freely chosen. Okay. If we consider the augmented matrix of this system, okay, remember this has what? Uh, M rows and N columns again. And let's consider that in terms of its row reduced echelon form. If the rank of M of A was less than the, what, the number of rows, then there exists Y values for which there is no corresponding X. Okay? Suppose, do you see what I mean? Suppose if I have the, the rank being less than the number of rows here, then I could do what? When I get row reduced to echelon form, I could what? I could get a bunch of zeros here. Now remember this side is, pre is freely chosen. Okay, the, the, this is arbitrary y here. Okay. I could easily conceive of a y for which what? Even after the row reduced echelon form here, this is what? Non-zero. Well, that would be a contradiction. It would be saying zero is, non, is a non-zero value. Okay. Well, that's not possible. Okay. So what's going to have to happen? Well, certainly the rank can't be greater than the number of rows here. So the rank has to be what? Has to be equal to M. Okay? And if you think about it, so if the rank is actually equal to M, so this kind of situation can't happen here. If the rank is equal to M, then we will actually what? Have a unique solution. Okay? Well, not necessarily a unique solution. But we'll have what? A solution for every single Y. Does that make sense? Okay. All right. Thus, if I'm mapping from Rn into Rm, it's going to be onto if and only if the rank of A is equal to what? M. Okay. So now to get on, so to get one to oneness, we need what? The rank to be N. To get on ness or to make it a surjection, we need what? The rank to be M. Okay, so you want to remember that. Now, this one last situation I want to talk about is sometimes called a bijection or a bijective situation. Okay, how about this situation in which I'm mapping uh, Rn into Rm, but I want it to be what? One to one and onto. Okay, I want it to be both. This is what we call a bijection. One to one onto mapping. That's a one to one correspondence between the elements of the domain and range, if you remember this concept from uh, college algebra. Well, from what we've discovered above, uh, first of all, we would have to have what? We would have to have the rank of A being equal to N to get one-to-oneness, and we'd have to have the rank A of being what? M to get uh, onto-ness, okay? Or in other words, to be injective here, and to be surjective here, okay? Well, how could that happen? How could the rank of A be N and M at the same time? Well, first of all, you would have to have what? M and N be equal. And what? You would have to have the rank of N, of A being N or M, <laughs> since they're the same, call it what you want, okay? But you, thus, we have the following situation. L going from Rn into Rn is 1 to 1 and onto, so onto Rn, if and only if what? The rank of A is equal to N. Okay, so this is a statement of what we've discovered just above. Okay, I've decided to write everything in terms of N instead of M. Okay, alrighty, 1 to 1 and onto, if and only if the rank of A is equal to n. But notice that the matrix A would have to be what? n by n, right? It would have to be an n by n matrix. If I have a matrix 
an n by n matrix with a rank of, that's also equal to n, what do you know about that matrix? It would have to be invertible. Okay, so we could also say that up here. L going from Rn into R to the n is 1 to 1 and on to if and only if what? A is invertible. A being the matrix associated with the linear operator. Okay, alrighty. All right, let's keep going here. And have that statement right there. A couple quick propositions for you folks to work out here. If uh, L1 going from Rn into Rm and L2 going from Rm into Rk are both one-to-one -one transformations, then I claim the, what, composition is also one-to-one. -one. Okay, this is a proposition for you to try to prove. Okay, hopefully you can, it shouldn't be too hard. Okay, a second proposition. If I've got the same situation up here, but they're both onto transformations, then I claim that the composition is also onto. Okay, go ahead and give those a try as exercises. I hope this made sense to you.